Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and uh, Windows Defender. Believe it or not, Microsoft has implemented Windows Defender with their latest and greatest operating system or server operating system, which is Windows 10. And uh, I've been playing around with it. And if you guys want to see or manipulate or control your Windows Defender, there is a way to get it back. Um, Again, Microsoft doesn't give you the GUI that we're so familiar with, like, you know, the way that we've seen in Windows 7 as well as Windows 8. But the way that we get it is you want to go into your server manager. And once your server manager is up and running, you want to go to the upper right corner and hit manage. And you want to do add roles and features. Once that happens, you want to go to next, click on next again. Uh, click next again because you're doing it on that particular server and I believe it's in uh, features is not a, a row so let's hit next on that go all the way to the bottom and you should see web defender here it goes see when defender zero of one installed so we want the GUI for the Windows Defender and we're gonna hit next now before I hit next I want to show you guys something so I'm gonna go to my my start button I'm going to type in control panel because uh, it's actually going to be located inside your control panel. But I want to I want to show you guys that within the control panel is not there. So I don't want you to be like, oh, you know, how did we know it's it worked or not? As you can see, it's not there, right? Windows Defender is nowhere within the control panel. So I'm actually going to close it and go back into our server manager and hit next. And uh, it's up to you. You don't need to restart, but best practice I like to restart. Uh, hit yes and hit install. The installation shouldn't take no more than two minutes or a minute. It's really fast. It, again, the application is already installed. The only thing that uh, it's doing is just giving you a nice interface for you to look at it. But if you don't want the interface again, Microsoft is going to be implementing, pushing out all the Windows definitions. It's going to be taking care of all the malware stuff for you so you don't have to worry about it. So that's that's a cool, that's a pretty cool thing. All right, guys, and we're back. The installation has completed, so we're gonna close this out. Again, we don't really need to restart, but it's really up to you guys if you wanna restart. We're gonna go back into our start button. I'm gonna type in control panel, uh, click on the control panel, and as you can see, our Windows Defender is there. Again, you don't really need it, but if you're a person like me that loves to have a GUI, uh, graphical user interface to see everything or manage everything, go for it. If not, Microsoft is going to be taking care of everything behind the scenes for you, so don't worry about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. What are your thoughts about Windows Defender and being part of a server operating system? Hey, it's kind of strange, but we, it, it's nice to have. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video a lot. as why well. it helps this guy, this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.